Dear diary, today I started a new school. School for idiots. Start today at Oran. They started off like I would expect, you know, a new school on their way around, you know, man. Until, of course, I tried to find somewhere to study. So, three libraries. One, two, three. None of them quiet. No. All full of screaming people talking. Do they not want to study? They don't even want to pass exams or get anywhere in life. Then I thought, of course not. They're all rich. Their parents are paying for it. So, I'm just going to try and find another library or at least a quiet classroom where I can go and study. Yeah. Not enough homework already. How is everyone else managing it? Seriously. Anyway, so off I went. Um, none of the classrooms are free. Obviously, we're being used by people talking. So, I decided to wander around the, um, around the campus for a bit. Oh, I got to um, one of the corridors. I may have gotten slightly lost. I ended up outside the third music room. That's where it all started. Um, so, well, music room. Can you ask for quiet? No music coming out. Okay, no use. So I, you know, I thought I was going to go in there, just sit down, read for a bit. You know, I just sit in the corner, read my textbooks, fine, no problem. <sighs> How wrong I was. So, I opened the door to this music room, and in there was oh, something. It's embarrassing to even say it. It was a host club. That's right, a high school host club. What the hell? So I opened the door, and there were all these boys sitting in there. It's a male musical. So, in the centre we had a very lanky blonde who looked like something out of a fairy tale, but with a brain. Next to him we had some very crazy guy with dark hair and glasses and a little folder writing away and oh, probably his friend. Next to him were two twins with red hair who looked very evil, like they were going to do something, or like they had already done something, but terrified me. And on the side of the uh, the guy with the glasses was a really, really tall guy with dark hair, very stoic expression, but really quiet. And on his shoulders was a tiny little kid, blonde. He must have been about ten. I don't know why he was in a high school and why he was wearing this uniform, but you know, whatever. So anyway, I got into this host club. Um, things happened, and they mistook me for a boy. They thought I was male. And they assumed that since I was male and in a host club, that I was that persuasion. So, anyway, the blonde guy got up, started talking to me. You know, really, really coming on to me. It was a bit scary, you know, just touching me. It was far too cheesy for me, I gotta say. I just, I don't know what to do. You know, it's a host club, you don't see them every day. Bit of a weird sort of phenomenon to be happening to you. Anyway, so I'm saying all the stuff I was trying to get out, obviously, just trying to tell them, you know, I have somewhere to study. So I tried to get out of the classroom, but for some reason my legs had stopped working, so I fell backwards. Now, in a music room that is so unbelievably expansive and gigantic and empty, apart from the people. They sure can place their jars very, very effectively. Now, I think I blacked out by this point, or I just tried to erase things from my memory, but basically the jar went flying. And it was 8 million yen. 8 million. Well, right, they're going to crucify me now, aren't they? They're going to absolutely kill me. Anyway, long story short, I have now been roped into working in a host club. I know what you're thinking. Male host club, female. I'm not going to mix very well. So, they didn't actually know I was a girl until the very end. They got me working in this host club. That's an errand person, which is fine. There was an incident with coffee, and, um, yeah, long story short, I got the uniform. 
Um, so anyway, yeah, it was a bit awkward when they found out I was a girl. I say they, I think the others worked it out, but the blonde guy, Tamaki. Such an idiot. What the hell is in that kid's brain? Anyway, he came into the changing room with some towels, because I can't make it to another room. Um, let's see what... <coughs> Certain things that should not be seen at the moment. <laughs> anyway. Basically, he knew I was a girl, so I had to wear a dress. It's yellow, and it's puffy, and it has a bow on it. Freaking bow! So, um, yeah. Found out I was a girl, and I'm still working in the host club. And Turkey is being a little bit on the fun side ever since he found out I was a female. Anyway, so, I'm now working in the host club. And that was my first day of high school. Not the best start you can get off to, really, but really. <sighs> It's working for my 8 million yen debt. Short of selling a kidney, then how I'm going to do this. Short of a talent to say that, you know, he's the host. <clears throat> he's the one that runs it, sort of. Um, you know, it's easy for him to get customers. Come on, man. Come on, Miriam. I'm a girl. Except they don't actually know that, so... Uh. But yeah, they got me all dressed up like this. They then gave me contacts, although I have had them before. I've had contact lenses in my life, but I lost the first pair, so... I'm stuck with these glasses. However, time he's dived that didn't look good enough, so... I go with the glasses and gave me things to stick in my eyes. He's obsessed with the commoners. He's obsessed with anything to do with people that are of a lower status than he is. Instant coffee, ramen, anything like that. He's trying to learn it all from me. I don't know what the hell he expects me to teach him. Rich jerk. I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow in regards to my senpai. But suffice to say, it's not going to be good. Anyway, that's it really for today. Oh, and yeah, that, the bag. That's what Tamaki did. He put those flowers in my bag. He has some kind of stupid idea that all hosts have to have roses on them at all times. So he managed to track down my school bag after it was thrown in a pond and then stuff it full of roses. Roses. What is the point? They look nice. They're com completely useless, just like him. No point, no purpose. No nothing. Anyway, he has now filled my bag with roses and he is being a little bit on the creepy side, I have to say. Sexual harassment at his best. Or worst, in this case. He seems to think that I'm his daughter. He calls himself Daddy. That's really creepy, bearing in mind he's only a few years older than me. So, not quite sure how to respond to that. I've now got to deal with that jackass for another couple of years. And his insane French psychobabble. And the fact that he is just so unbelievably hyperactive. Anyway. Let's hope tomorrow is a little bit better than today and that I don't get, um, you know, have in water, assaulted, mistaken for a boy, and generally mucked about with. Bye.